Moonghost Beam. See, well to protect, there's one, that's perfect. Red must protect. Hurry on! <laughs>another episode of our VGC Road to Rank 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today on the channel we're going to be continuing on with this team that we started playing last week on the channel, which is um, Will's team that he won the Flinch Squad 2019 Invitational Championships with. Uh, we had some really up and down games last week. We had some tough matchups. Um, but I feel confident that we're going to finish up with the team today before we come in with a new team tomorrow um, with a lot of positivity behind us, a lot of success behind us as well. As always, the team is down in the description below. There's a roll paste and a polka paste of the team. If you'd like to try it out and check out the details for yourself. Um, and as always, if you do enjoy the content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel and uh, do... Leave your comments down below about the team, about the matches, about everything. We've got Itachi up as our first opponent today, so we'll hop straight into team preview. And this is Monday's episode, and I was at an MSS over the weekend, double MSS. So we'll have updates about that in tomorrow's episode, and we'll be playing one of the teams that I'll be featuring over the weekend uh, for the rest of this week. So Itachi is playing a team of Groudon, Eveltal, which seem to be everywhere at the minute, uh, Incineroar, and Metagross. We've got Tapacoco and Venusaur. So potentially Mega Metagross going to be the Mega on the team. We've got Venusaur going to thrive off that Chlorophyll ability with the Sun from the Groudon. Uh, Rayquaza are doing a nice job to kind of counteract that. Again, Tapacoco is going to be quite good for us, but we've got to very, be very careful around the Groudon uh, and that Venusaur um, and also the Mega Metagross because it could potentially and does probably carry Stomp and Tantrum. But uh, the Coco going to be our way and our route to get around the Evelto here. So we need to, to manage that situation uh, well enough. And um, maybe Trick Room is a, a good route for us to try and go down here. If we can if we can go down that route with this team. Um, oh, okay. Let's go Coco. Let's go Lunala. I think Stax. And I think Rayquaza as well. Incineroar could be good. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... with the, the trusty four that I've seen Will play over time and time again. So we'll see how we do in this first one today. Urgh. I'm really hoping I can come back onto the channel tomorrow and be like, I won, I won the NSS, it was amazing, and this is the team that I used, and I hope you all like it and everything will be good. But it's, uh, as I was saying on Friday's episode, it's going to be a really tough tournament. Um, a lot of <laughs> world-class players are going to be there, so it's not going to be very easy. Uh, we do see Incineroar, and we do see Yveltal come out for my opponent. Uh, I think we... Like that, the fake out here is pretty obvious onto Tapa Coco because uh, you've got to protect the Veltal. I would say a trick uh, Tailwind probably comes out from my opponent. This is where it might have been better to have our own fake out user like Incineroar on the back to bring in. Um, one of the things, and we could go for the we could go Trick Room. It's going to be tough though. I think like you go fake out, we probably see the Darkium on the Evelto. Uh Now we could just protect Nala here and go for a, a, a T-Ball. Okay, so Evelto going to protect. That's fine. Unless we see a U-turn out onto Lunala. The Thunderbolt, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Incineroar U-turn. It's into Coco. We're probably gonna see Groudon come in now, I think. It's definitely gonna be Z-Move, I think, Evelto. 100%. But we kind of cover the Eveltal, so it's it's not too bad. We are covering our Lunala with this type of Coco. Like, if it's Z-Move, we definitely take it down. And it means that the Eveltal has to switch out this next turn if it wants to uh, preserve itself for later in this game. Which means we could potentially wide guard here and go for the Thunderbolt. And uh, if the Incineroar comes onto the field, it means that uh, we do just get damage onto the um, Incineroar. But I'm pretty confident that we'd be able to pick up the knockout onto the Avelta regardless here. So the wide guard play makes a lot more sense, I think, for us with the Thunderbolt, which should take down this Avelta. So we will wide guard and we will go for a Thunderbolt. So let's see what my opponent goes for. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> Itachi as well. If this player is anything like Itachi from Naruto, I'm in for a, a lot of a lot of pain in this game. <laughs> There's no out thinking Itachi. Okay, let's see what my opponent goes for. If Alto withdraws, we're going to see Incineroar come onto the field. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I want to preserve that for later on, I think. There's a lot of things that Lunala can give trouble to on my opponent's team. So, um, dealing with the one thing that troubles that makes a lot of sense. The Groudon actually going to protect here, uh, which is quite interesting. We'll get the uh, the Wide God reveal that for no good reason. But it does put questions in my opponent's mind going for the Precipice Blaze the next turn as we are going to get this... Thunderbolt out onto the Incineroar here. Um, now, I think we definitely get Rayquaza out. I think it's a good opportunity to get Ray out onto the field. Um, do we see a double up into Lunala? That's my only worry. Because we could get Stack Attack out on the field, but we would lose Stacks if we if we see a Precipice Blades. Um, although, I, I, I think it's unlikely to see a Precipice Blades. That's why I'm I'm saying we'll get we'll get stacks in now. Uh, I think Lunala's quite important for us, especially if we're going to see like Mega Metagross later in the game. Lunala, especially with the Shadow Shield intact, if we can just check that Evelto, things get so much easier for us. So we'll switch out Lunala. We'll bring stacks in. Hopefully, it takes the brunt of a, a Fire Punch. Hidden Power. No, no, no. <laughs> Hidden power ice. Oh, that is not what we want to see. That is a predicted and a half from my opponent. Man. I can't believe that. I can't actually believe that. <laughs> Hidden power. Metagross coming in. Hmm. Stomping tantrum. Ah, we're, we're in a bit of a, a spot here, aren't we? We are definitely in a spot. Um, we can Mega Evolve, but there's not really much we can do. Um, and Protect, and... We can try and be cheeky and get a, a substitute up. I mean, if we get a sub up, it means that at least we've got a way to potentially throw something into Groudon. But I think it's so easy for my opponent just to press the click the precipice blades button and stomp in tantrum. Um, this is where we want Lunala back on the field right now. Right on protecting, okay. The Metagross chases down Rayquaza here. Yeah, it's going for it. So we get a substitute up, which is quite good. Uh, okay. Well, this isn't the worst thing in the world. Because I think you've really got to double into Stack Attacker. Um, and you've got to go Precipice Blades. You've got to go Precipice Blades. But I've got nothing I really want to switch in, so it means losing Rayquaza, which is not ideal. We could go Extreme Speed. Because I think we're not going to outspeed the the Metagross, and we can go Z move. Or do we? Do we? Do we? Do we go Trick Room, and then we're in a way better position? I think Trick Room's better, you know. Yeah, I do think. I think if we can get a Trick Room up, Lunala and Stacks can do some work. Groudon actually going to switch out. Incineroar coming in. Okay. Well, we'll get an extreme speed off into Incineroar. Let's see what we can do here. Mega Evolve, probably losing Ray. Although you might want to get rid of this sub and go for the stomping. Like Metagross isn't really too threatened by the Ray at the minute, so um, getting rid of the sub makes a lot more sense. But no, we're going to see that. So we'll keep our sub, which is perfect, because now we can bring in Lunala um, and we can do some nice work to this um, Metagross and uh, Stone Edge will definitely get this Incineroar 
So I don't know if a moon ghost beam gets Metagross. It depends how bulky it is. It's probably EV to survive it. Um, but the Stone Edge will definitely get Incineroar. So we will go for the Z. And we want to keep the Z move, I think, for Evaltal or Groudon. Um, maybe Groudon. Because Groudon, like, if we can Z move Moongai's Beam into it, then that makes things so much easier. And that combination will definitely take it down. And then we still got Coco to deal with the Uvelto. So if we're looking at it from that kind of point of view, uh, the Groudon will be the one thing that we want to take down with, with our two remaining Pokemon. We're going to see Groudon come back in. So a Stone Edge will do some nice damage to it, for sure. Um, Metacross just protecting. Okay. And we do hit. If we get a crit, that would be huge for us. Right, I think. Does the does a ground on protect though? That's the thing. <laughs> I don't know if it does. I don't know. Let's go Mungus Beam into Metagross and go for the Continental Crush into Groudon. I'm hoping, because we're not even minus one, that we get the Groudon. Cinema coming back in makes a lot of sense. Probably going to see a Precipice Blades. Maybe the Groudon protects to stall out this Trick Room. Oh, it does. That's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. But we're getting damage onto the Groudon and probably putting it in Moongeist Beam range, which is the good thing because this next turn, what can my opponent do? The Incineroar has to go down to a Stone Edge or, or at least uh, the Metagross comes back in on that slot, I think. Come on, do enough to put it in Moongeist Beam range. Please. Probably not. Probably not enough. I think priority is trying to break this sub on the stack attacker. Proc is it Procaberry? No. Okay. How many turns of trick room we got? Two. So that's actually not the worst. That is alright. Groudon will go Moongo's Beam. We'll go Stone Edge into Incineroar. Yeah, Metagross. Yeah, we could have predicted that. We definitely could have. I'm glad I'm going to go back out. So Velt's going to come in. I'm going to see a double protect, I think. But the nice thing is, what we could potentially do the next turn is go double trick room. And predict a double protect here. Okay, so we'll get a little bit of damage in. <clears throat> Alright, okay. Yeah, my opponent's gonna definitely. There's one turn of Trick Room left. So, we'll go Trick Room. I love this play, Trick Room. And if we see the double protect, then my opponent's knackered because they can't get through another five turns of Trick Room with what they've got. They just can't. This is not going to happen. But it's all about the double protect here, and I think that's what we've got to see. If they don't do it, if they suspect this play in any kind of uh, form, then pff, this is Atachi, remember? We're playing, so you might see through this. But I don't know. I think you would just double protect. Or switch around, because I don't think you want to leave your Avelto to take a Stone Edge at this point, or the Metagross taking a Moongeist Beam. So you've to Protect, there's one, that's perfect. Metagross Protect. Party on! <laughs> Come on, Trick Room! <laughs> so we'll reset the dimensions, and then we'll set the dimensions. So there we go, and there we go. And that's that's going to be as good as game, because my opponent hasn't got the, the hasn't got the ability to get around another another bunch of. Um, and we could make some predictions here, uh, like we could double into the Evelto with a Moongeist Beam and a Stone Edge, because I think I'm not really worried about the Metagross at this point. 
Because I think you pull... Oh, well, you might not pull a double switch. The incineral coming out. But doubling into the slots now makes a bit more sense. The Stone Edge does connect. This should pick up the knockout. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we're going to get that one. And then Moon Guys Beam probably even gets the Incineral now. Let me get the Beast Boost. The Attack Boost. Moon Guys Beam. I think from the previous damage, this probably be enough to get the Incineral. Yeah. And then we got the ground on the Metagross left, so um, we're kind of alright. Let's substitute coming in so clutch for us, because it prevents my opponent from being able to intimidate cycle, which means that stack attacker still stays uh, quite safe, and the fake out's not relevant at all when you've got this board position set up, so um, everything quite nice at the moment. Uh, with Groudon coming in, I think probably double into the Groudon here, uh, because it's the one thing that potentially could cause us a few issues uh, so moon goes beam into that and then the do we go stone edge i just i'm just worried that the stone edge might miss uh, it's not the most accurate of attacks even though stack attack has been on point i'd rather just gyro ball with plus one attack so i mean that little bit of chip from gyro ball should be enough to put Groudon in range for a Moongeist Beam and then the Metagross is going to be easy to deal with once the Groudon has gone and especially because we've got Tapu Koko on the back when this Trick Room does end we should be should be fine. We might see a double protect here my opponent might try and stall this one out but um, I think we're going to be alright but we just see the forfeit. So very good game to my opponent. The double Trick Room pulls through for us there and I think that is the big the big the big play um, and the option on the team that mode of the team is so nice you get the, that that situation where you know your opponent has to soul out they've done really well to get around that first turn of round of trick room and then if you've got the the, the tools there to to set the trick room up again and just really punish that that sort of passive player to stall out um, then it, it doesn't give your opponent very many options going forward so nice win for us to kick off with today we will go into our next match hopefully again it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent and uh, because this is going to be the last game with the team before we uh, give it back to will and say thank you very much for offering us the the time to uh, feature on the channel uh, we will finish up with necrozma vision team because we just love this track so um hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent as well battle spot seems to be doing a little bit better a little bit better but we'll see um i tell you what my friends we'll cut it right now and we'll come back when uh, we bump into our next opponent of the episode so we'll be right back and we got our second opponent of the episode we've got lauren from australia so we'll hop straight into team preview see what lauren is bringing only four the big four so uh big four that we've got as well um right stacks how do we deal with stacks on this team, actually? Um, hmm. Stack attacker for us seems a bit awkward to do. Uh, we don't really have a way to hit it for super effective, do we? I don't think even Incineroar's got... Oh, it does. Incineroar's got low kick. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense. That makes sense. Okay, <laughs> we've got away. We've got away. It's fine. Um, uh, we definitely need Incineroar here then. So we'll bring Incineroar. Um, we need to watch out for the Groudon. Uh, I think we'll bring our own Lunala. Uh, we'll bring Ray. Um, and did we bring Amoongus? Because Amoongus... Could, if Trick Room goes up, Amoongus is a beast. Um, Stax is amazing, but Amoongus is really, really strong. I'm going to bring Amoongus. Because we haven't brought it since we started featuring this team. And I do love the little mushroom, so we'll go for it. So good luck, Lauren. And we'll get into this one. Hopefully we can give the team a good send-off here for good or will. And... Um, That'd be, that'd be nice, won't it? It'd be nice to give them a good send-off and then we'll come into tomorrow with a brand new team. Like I say, something that we featured over the weekend at the MSS. Whichever one I had more success with. Right. Incineroar Lunala coming out first. I wouldn't be surprised to see this lead from my opponent. Okay, stacks coming out. I don't mind that either. Um... 
because a moon guys beam and a, a low kick will probably get the stack attacker i would imagine well minus one low kick i don't know if it does will it do 50 percent it probably won't will it See, the thing is, we could potentially go fake out Moongas Beam and then Moongas Beam low kick, and that will get the stack attacker. And that's the one thing that I'm really more concerned about than anything here. Um, we'll go for that. Moongas Beam, and we will go for a fake out into the stack. So just stop it doing anything this turn. Fake out. And Moongas Beam. And hopefully another combination of Moongas Beam and Low Kick will be enough to get the stacks. So. Oh, we just do that. And that. Oh, that's really unfortunate for my opponent. Darkest Lyric coming out. We will take this after the Intimidate. we still got our Shadow Shield intact as well. All I'm going to say is that is really unfortunate, Lauren. I do apologise for that. Ha. Huh. It makes things so difficult as well if it's like you're practicing with these four because you don't know the two that you've got you don't know what you want to put in with the the, the two behind them um a turn like that just kind of ruins the game for you like i said in yesterday's episode i think where oh no a previous episode oh it's shiny lunala okay that's that's super nice isn't it that is really nice um we'll go for a snarl I think we switch a Lunala out for... Oh, did we switch Lunala out? Did we just protect Lunala, maybe? I mean, we one of the things we could do is just go for a U-turn and protect a Lunala. Because I kind of suspect Trick Room might still go up here. That shiny Lunala is so nice. The event hasn't come to the UK yet. We haven't got the... We haven't got... Um, well, as far as I'm aware, right now... It might be over this coming weekend, which was past weekend because I'm pre-recording this. But yeah, I don't think anywhere has got the um, the codes in the UK yet. I don't think any of our game stores are doing it, which is a little bit disappointing because I'd love a shiny Lunala. I would love one. That's so nice. And shiny Sogaleo is cool as well. Right, Groudon coming in. We'll protect Lunala. Like I say, we could have probably made, maybe taken advantage of this Trick Room going up. But it is Moonguy's Beam, so it's not the worst. Um, it does mean now that we broke the Shadow Shield on the Lunala. We are going to be able to get our Rayquaza onto the field. Whether I want to do this or not. Or do I want to bring in a Moongus? I think Rayquaza is probably better. It's just the annoying thing about bringing Ray in now is that the Intimidate's in the back. Okay, well, I think we'll sword stance, and I'm gonna go for a moon guys beam into the opposing Lunala, and we'll see what my opponent does. This could all go downhill pretty rapidly from here. We lose our restricteds. A Z move from the opposing Lunala would be pretty bad into Ray. And it would mean we're getting we've just been greedy if if that happens. Okay, well we get our moon guys beam off first, so um there was a little bit of me that did suspect that maybe they're Lunala slow because of the trick room. Um like centric it's gonna be centered around trick room, is it? Dragon Claw No <laughs> Oh it's not powerful enough though. Okay, we just about to take it. Man, Dragon Claw. Oh, uh, right. Well, we need to preserve. We need, we just desperately need uh, Ray to, to deal with this Groudon. My opponent's got all the shiny Pokemon. Apart from that Groudon, you need the complete set. Shiny Primal Groudon looks legit as well. Um, Right, we'll protect. Right, we will switch Lunala into Incineroar. Get an Intimidate onto both these Pokemon. It gives us that fake out pressure the next turn as well. Um, and then we can maybe go for another Sword Stance. Although we've got to worry about the Darkest Lariat because I think 
Hmm. Darkest Lariat will probably get rare from this range. Will a plus one Dragon Ascent get Incineroar? Hmm. Questionable. I don't know. But we'll get Incy in. We'll protect Ray this turn. We'll get around this fake out. The thing we could have potentially done is not protect it. Well, we can't because I think, it, yeah, we get faked out and Dragon Clawed again. That's basically what would happen. Um, yeah, so we just lose Ray. Just the fake out would proc the berry, but it's not really worth it when we just lose. Um, okay. Hmm. I think the Groudon protects here. I'm gonna fake out. I'm gonna fake out the Groudon. I'm gonna hope that a Dragon Ascent takes down the Incineroar. I don't wanna leave the Groudon alone for it to Dragon Claw the Ray at this point. You just don't wanna do that. Dragon Claw Groudon is a pain to deal with, a real pain to deal with. It changes the whole dynamic of Groudon. You can see why it won the World Championships. Um, because its utility becomes a, a lot better under uh, Trick Room uh, for beating things like Salamence and Rayquaza. Although it's not picking up Knockout, it's doing enough damage to, to really make it awkward to... Um, oh, we get the Incineroar. Okay, so that makes things so much easier for us. Because what we can do now is just pivot out with Incineroar, uh, Dragon Ascent into Groudon. Uh, we'll bring Amoongus in and then at the very worst we've got another Intimidator to cycle onto the Groudon. We've got among us Lunala left to kind of do some stuff. Uh, so we'll Dragon Ascent again into Groudon. Um, I mean, we could be really patient here. We could protect Rayquaza, bring Incineroar in, and then we can just um, go Rage Powder Dragon Ascent, but uh, we've went down a different route. But anyway, uh, we get very lucky with a, a critical one turn one. So Lauren, apologies about that. You took us quite far down the line as well after that. So the team showing it's it's very it's still very strong um but we'll end it up there my friends thank you so much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed today's episode as always leave your comments down below leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all tomorrow with an update from the mss over the weekend and a brand new team that will be playing going forward for the rest of the week so a big shout out to will once again give him a follow it is at dempsey vgc over on twitter the handle will be down in the description and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye